Okay, so here we have a Lenovo Flex 3. It's a 1400 something or other, but it doesn't make any difference. And as you can see, it is not turned on. Yay. Also, as you can see, the uh, power button is turning on and off. Uh, and um, yeah, so it's making everybody crazy. So uh, we've had this before with these units, and the solution to it is to pull a battery. So, um, well, actually, the, let's go through this a little bit more. The short version is what you should do is uh, uh, press and hold the power button for either five seconds or 15 seconds. Five seconds will power down a uh, PC. 15 seconds will power down a tablet. And because this is a touchscreen, I'm really not sure which way it ends up as being defined. So uh, at any rate, uh, I've done both. It doesn't work, right? So you just sit and hold and it just keeps flashing. You can plug it in. It's been plugged in all night. Uh, it's not, uh, that's not the problem. The problem is that it's stuck in sleep mode. So uh, how do you do that? Uh, this unit, uh, like a lot of Lenovo's and a lot of, in fairness, a lot of laptops generally don't have uh, accessible batteries. Well, not that challenging. Um, you grab yourself some nice screwdrivers and you pull it apart. So let's do that. So in this case, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So I'm just gonna pull those out and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, the question is how do you pull it back off? If you take a look, you'll see it's quite tight around the edges. So one of the things I'll use is a uh, just a little credit card. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna have to in this case. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, try to pry it out from here. And if that does not work, I will use a card to slide along the edge here. As you can see, it's very, very tight. So let's just try that. And yes, you may break some of the clips uh, I have proper tools to do this, but um, uh, I know a lot of you won't, so I'm trying to show you the other way to do this. The proper tools, by the way, you can buy on eBay for just a few dollars. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this card along the edge. There, and you can see it's popped a bit. You can see that, but it is. And I'm just going to use this fantastic little credit card to slide along. And as I said, you may break a clip or two in here, and that's just the price of doing business. It'll clip back in nicely afterwards, don't worry about it. Um, generally, when I'm at work, I use the tools, but this is a personal machine, so. Um, and as I said, I know a lot of you don't have the, the proper tools, so. Um, there we go. So you just pry it along, and again, you can hear that. There we go. And that's all happiness. There we go. Lovely back, right? So. A little, little disassembly so let's go through this okay so this is the uh, these are the speakers uh, one there and one there hard drive I swap that out for what uh, uh, for an SSD uh, because the spinning disks are garbage uh, yeah CPU is here yeah I don't know if you can notice but uh, it's a little hard to see but the, the fans a little got some dust on it it's always a good idea to blow that out I will do that Whenever you have this apart, uh, even if you don't see anything on it, just blow it out. Um, and uh, the battery, battery's right here. And what I'm gonna do with the battery is disconnect it. And the battery disconnection is this giant connector here. And um, watch the flashing light here as I pull this out, it will die. Okay, and notice that on the edge of this is a, uh, um, uh, a tab that you can pull out. Um, it's quite hard to get to. That is the proper way to do it. I'm just going to use my nail. Uh, you can just pull on the wires. They, they won't fall out. They, they won't be a problem, but you really shouldn't, but you, you can. And you want to pull it out evenly. So there it is. Boom. I just felt the unit vibrate and you'll notice the flashing light has now stopped. So let it sit for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. There we go, there's a few seconds. Plug it back in. And again, plug it back in evenly. So I'm using my nail on the top. You can use two nails on the side to squish it back in. There you go. Push that cable uh, back down so it's underneath when the cover goes on. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna blow this out. And yes, you can use compressed air to blow that out. So that's the better way to go. I just don't have any on me right now. so. There we go. 
and that'll make it run better. Now, uh, before I reassemble this, I'm simply going to flip it over. Nothing will fall out. All of this is solid with the exception of the speakers. The speakers are quite loose, so I'll just hold those as I flip it over. There we go. And uh, let's power it up. Okay, there we go. So let's just lift the lid. And uh, where's the power button? There it is. Bingo. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now that I've verified the unit powers up, all I'm going to do is pop the back, uh, the, uh, back, back on. Uh, it doesn't make much difference where you start. I always start at the top, though, uh, near the monitor, and squish in, and you'll just hear it clip in. Go around. Don't just push generally. Squish it down. Go in around, okay? Put your screws back in. And again, I won't punish you with watching that. Then you start at one corner and work your way around. Um, and uh, Lenovo screws, for some reason, for me, seem famously to fall out. They get loose over time. So what I do is I will put them in, uh, go around, and then I will uh, go check them all again. So I'll just crank them all just a little bit again uh, after I've gone around and done them, put them in the first time. That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.